Today on Scientific Shuffle, we're gonna boil water with ice. And the best part about this nifty little science trick is that all you're going to need is a glass bottle, a little bit of water, and a little bit of ice. Now we all know that if we want to boil water, we have to heat it up. That means 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. However, if you put water in a vacuum, we can boil it at a much lower temperature. So here's what we're gonna need. I grabbed an empty bottle, some oven mitts, a bowl of ice, and walked over to the sink. Now keep in mind when heating and cooling a glass object quickly, there's always a little bit of chance of danger. So put on some eye protection and be mindful. First thing you're gonna do is take your bottle and fill it about one third of the way up with water. Then take it over to your stove. If you have an electric stove, put it right on there. If you have a gas stove like me, put a pan down first. Now you're gonna wait for the water to reach a decent boil. This may take a lot of time or it may take little time depending on how powerful your stove is. But once you have a decent boil, remove it with mitts and let it cool for about 10 seconds. Now it's time to put the cap back on the bottle and place it upside down. I happen to have a bigger bottle that I could place it into. Okay, so now we have some chilling water in a bottle. That's not very exciting, but this is where science steps back in. Now grab a couple ice cubes and place them on top of the upside down bottle. All of a sudden, we have boiling action. So why is this happening? Once we place ice around the water, it causes the vapor in the air to condense from a gaseous state to a liquid once again. This creates a vacuum around the water that's in the bottle. So now there's a lack of pressure above the water, which lets it boil again until the vapor cools down. Since we lowered the pressure above the water to nearly nothing, it now boils at around room temperature. This brings me to the bottom line. The water is boiling now because its boiling point has been lowered. If you enjoyed this segment, please check out some of our other videos. We have tons of cool science videos, or leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like to see on the next episode. See you then.